two, one, and liftoff. Any list of the tribe's top three players has to have Edwin Encarnacion on it. Any list that doesn't is just ridiculous. Number two would be Andrew Miller for me. The guy has showed what, what kind of a, a hired gun and wild card he can be in the playoffs. I know they're not going to use him that way, but he's still really, really important. And number one is Lindor. I mean, come on, the guy's going to be an all-star for the next 10 years. Go ahead with I your felt, list. I felt like that was unnecessary. <laughs> I felt like it was an unnecessary shot. Okay, number three, Corey Kluber. Two, Miller. One, Lindor. Listen. Kluber has been the best. So what was the big hubbub Listen. about signing Encarnacion if he's not even on your list? They could have, they could have signed some he's schlub. Now, he's older. We've talked about this before. He's older than the rest of the core. He's more on potentially the backside, okay? We didn't ask Kluber who was going to be the top three ten years from been, now. Kluber has a Cy Young Award. Encarnacion hasn't been the MVP. I mean, he's been a very good player. I don't know how you don't have Kluber on this. You watched the playoffs last year, right? Yeah, you got when five starting whole... pitchers, and they they got a lot of depth at that position. If they lose Encarnacion, it's bad news for these guys. They didn't have Encarnacion last year, and they came within a game of winning the World Series. Roll those how same dice again, and I'll watch you lose. 